As I went into student teaching, I found that there were a lot of challenges and educational disparities um, from students from different backgrounds. How do you reach educational equity? And that's what drew me to a career in law and policy to try to find out if I could gain some practical tools for creating and making a difference for everyone in the classroom. But now I feel that I'm able to create new inroads and new paths to change policy overall from the beginning, to have a seat at the table, to bring not only my own voice, but the voices of the community members that I serve to the forefront and feel empowered to uh, engage in write-in campaigns, to do legislative testimony. So I feel the program provided me with the appropriate tools to be equipped to really make meaningful change and make systemic change at a macro level. Well, I would definitely say I was uh, attracted to the faculty because for me and, and seeing the faculty members out in the community going to um, some of their public lectures, to see that it was a very well-rounded program that was focused on social justice and the other issue that I talked about earlier, education. I was really passionate about how do we address educational disparities and as a lawyer there was another area that started to really pique my interest which was the school to prison pipeline and how do those two intersect related to juvenile justice and education and for the program here with it being within the school of education it was an opportunity to really delve deeper um, into those particular issues. In a practical sense just on my own personal level it surprised me of how much influence that I could have to be an attorney um, to be able to use those skills, whether it was legal research and writing, analysis, oral advocacy, to take that skill set, add it to the public policy piece. I mean, it was a perfect combination of taking my um, advocacy skills to the next level. As we look to the future of, of graduate education, it has to be comprehensive. We can no longer work in silos, say, hey, I'm a law student, I don't work with public policy students, or I'm an engineering student, leadership doesn't matter for me. It all intersects, and I think if you bring together diversity related to professional diversity, religious diversity, racial, ethnic, gender, whatever it may be, that's what leads to the robust exchange in the classroom that makes it rich for everyone involved. I, use the training that I receive on a daily basis. Presently, for example, I'm working on a prison phone justice campaign for reform related to helping to bring down the high cost of prison phone calls because how else can those who are incarcerated remain in contact with their family, friends, and community members if it's cost prohibitive? So without the policy training, I would have had difficulty in thinking of what's the next step. But some of the things that we've already started to look at is drafting public comments related to changes, um, starting to organize and educate community members, applying the policy development class hands-on, looking at what are some of the policies in the other states, what are best practices. Without having the public policy training, I would have had a blind spot. I would have known, okay, I can identify the issue, I can do some legal research, but what's next? How do you create systemic change? And that's what the program offered us in a meaningful, hands-on way. Well, I can say, just on a, on a personal level, you're a part of not only, I'm not just an alumna of the law school or of the public policy program or the doctorate program, you're alumni of a larger network, a university-wide network. Um, and in that sense, I've traveled the world and people are saying, oh, well, I did this program in St. Thomas or my father, or sometimes you even see those St. Thomas State Fair bags. So St. Thomas Mark, I think, is um, a parent. But more importantly, um, you're, you're being initiated into this community. And for me, it's a community where there is an expectation that I will think critically and ethically and try to be a morally responsible leader. So I think in looking at those sort of things, the doctrine of who we are and our mission, each one of us then have an opportunity within our own sphere of influence to breathe life into that mission. And I think that's the type of St. Thomas effect that I'm proud to be a part of. I would say that law and policy impact every area of our daily lives. And if you're really looking for, to become an agent of change, whether it's for me, it's in education and criminal justice and juvenile justice, for someone else, it may be in healthcare, it may be in the classroom, K through 12 education. Whatever it may be, I think this career provides you and this career training with an opportunity to be an influencer, to really be at the forefront of creating change, being a, a leading thinker, a leading leader in a sense, and, and leading authentically. Because I think the other piece that comes together if you're comparing it to other programs is that there's an expectation that you'll be a leader, that you will use your influence to create change, and you're trained in developing some of those skills.